This place looks really cool. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. Do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Sure. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Yes, sir. How do I get a cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. New, new armor? Ugh. Tell me about Golden Glow, then. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. Aww. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Dang it! That was gonna be the fun part. Oh well. I guess that makes sense. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. So what should I do about, uh, the guy? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay. Need more details, actually. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry, to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften guards? Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Cool. How did I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. <laughs> Just to make sure, why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. Gotcha. So Maven's the influential client. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. Oof. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Mm, I wonder if I can actually kill the mercenaries. Oh. 
some guild chests. I wonder if I can just, uh... Oh, I can clear these out. This is awesome. Some lockpicks. Um, orcish arrows. I'll just leave those in there. Because uh, I'm not going to need them. I'm going to have plenty of crossbow bolts. Thieves guild gloves. Oh, I'm going to get my own personal armor set right. All eyes are on you, right, 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 right. I remember now. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go do this then. Uh, yep. Vex. Before, before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead ah. and do exactly as I Stop say. Stop it. No questions, no excuses. Dude, you're creeping me out. Then we understand each other. Good. Ah. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What kind of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Everyone's staring at me. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Not a bad deal at all. Is this unusual gem worth anything? Been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Yeah, I've had this for a while. Is it worth anything? Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. So you're sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. That's cool. Um, so I heard you ran into some trouble at Golden Glow. Yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Gotcha. All right. Hey, where do you think you're going? We have work to do. I gotta do the Golden Glow thing, ma'am. So you're the new recruit, huh? Uh, why is that? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. Oh. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the system? <sighs> Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. A lot. I got you. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Woo! Let's actually see this really quick. Until... Um... Thieves Guild armor. I might just wear this stuff. Because all of this isn't going to be very useful in a lot of the quests we're doing. Except for that one. That piece I'll still use. Um, let's see. Carrying capacity, yeah. Pickpocketing, yeah. Lockpicking, uh, yeah. Prices. Mmm. But here's the thing. That one's got yeah, lockpicking. 20% better. Um, these gloves not as good so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put on the tumbler bane gloves we're gonna put on the thieves guild armor later when I start needing more space um right now we're just gonna switch around our gloves which means we're probably not gonna be doing a lot of 
daggering. So let me go ahead and switch back to the Enhanced and D-Crossbow of Woe. And with that, we're probably going to be skippy. So the question is, do I want to go ahead and go to Golden Glow or pause it for now? All eyes are on you, lad. I tell Don't you what, let's go ahead and do Golden Glow. That'll be fine. I'll just make this a super long so episode. Protege, eh? It might not be a super long episode. I might have to divide this up. Depends. Um, usually when I try to render episodes that are around an hour, um, my game spazzes out. Or, no, actually, Vegas will spaz out and be all like, what are you doing to me? Arr! But we'll just have a save there, and... I don't know. We'll see. So, let's go ahead and go to uh, Golden Glow Estate and do some infiltration work. We have to enter Golden Glow using the sewer, clear out the dude's safe, and burn three beehives. And only three beehives. This one's a really important objective. Another thing that really confused me, I think, when I first came in and started doing this quest is... Okay, first of all, we're gonna go to the Merry Fair Farm. That's where we're gonna fast travel to. I'm gonna go ahead and watch that quest. Like, look at all these little objectives. Um, alright, we're gonna go to the farm. And we're gonna swim out there. But, uh, This quest confused me really, really badly when I first did it because, uh... I ended up having a problem with killing, like, Brynjolf says, keep your blade clean, and I was like, okay, does that mean I can't kill any of the mercenaries on the island? So I tried to do this without killing any of the mercenaries, and that ended up being just outrageous. Outrageously difficult. Um, the only way you can really go through all the Thieves Guild missions and not kill anyone other than who you're supposed to kill is to, um, I have invisibility beforehand, and usually when I do the Thieves Guild, I have invisibility, and it makes everything stupidly easy, but this time I'm going non-magic on my playthrough, because, uh, <laughs> Illusion gets kind of overpowered later, and I'm only gonna go Illusion when I have nothing else to spend points in. Okay. We're at Golden Glow Estate, though. Let's see. I can sneak around here. My sneak skill's really high right now. Because I'm stacking. I'm stacking a lot of enchants that are giving me bonuses to sneak. Okay. So let's get in here using the sewer. Now, Vex said they wouldn't have this guarded, but I'm not going to take any chances. And I'm going to be as careful as I can be. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's how stealthy I am, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. I am ridiculously stealthy, I'll tell you. Now, I don't know if it's just me, or am... Am I loading my crossbow, like, at super speed? Compared to normal? Hang on. What crossbow skill do I have? Or bow skill? The bow skill would be... here. Uh, all right. Can draw a bow 30% faster. That's what I thought I had. Okay. So I need... Our next upgrades for this is going to be, like, overdraw and then critical shot and then bullseye. So we're only going to spend three more points in archery. But we've already got it pretty much well done. Okay. Ooh, I'm seeing some gasoline on the floor. Come on. Is that a tripwire? It is. Okay. Let's see if I can handle this carefully. Okay. That. Dang it, I missed. Actually, I got their attention. That's what I was wanting. There we go. Light those things up. <laughs> I 
think I got all of them. Except for just that. Oh, it got him too. Awesome. Oh, that was nice. Good. All right. I was hoping to shoot that one skeever and push his corpse onto the drawstring that I was that I saw there. It was barely noticeable, but that worked too. Worked just fine. Can I take these torches off? Okay. Whatever. God, I've got crazy amounts of sneak skill right now. All right. I'm going to have to start stacking lockpicking stuff for this. We're going to have to pick a lot of locks, and that's going to mean a lot of broken lockpicks, because I don't have very many points invested. Ooh! -hoo. Let's go ahead and read this. Do, 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 What it was it called? Guide to Better Thieving. Yep. Awesome. A little bonus there. And an apprentice chest. I need to check all these for random nonsense. Ah. Alright, a bunch of cool things there. One of the awesome things about being in the Thieves Guild is always having a place to get lockpicks from. Uh, when we go back to talk to our fence, I'm probably going to stock up on lockpicks. Wow. I got plenty of crossbow bolts. I'm just wasting the steel ones just because. Oh. What's this one connected to? This one's connected to a wall upwards trap. Like that. There we go. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Sidestep this. Keep our eyes on the ground just to make sure we don't have to deal with any more. Uh, okay, we're good. Let's get up here. Alright. Now, I think it's safe for me to take out all these mercenaries. So what we're going to do... is we're going to carefully pick them off one by one. And there's a lot of them on this island. So we're going to have to be a little careful. One of them's nearby right now. Oh, shit. There he is. As long as I stay in cover, I'm usually fine. And I see the beehives. Okay, that's two. Uh, not seeing too many else. Is that one down there? That little fire? Yeah, I can't really tell. Hmm. All right. Should have probably done this later at night, actually. What time is it? Enemies still nearby. Still nearby. Okay. Let me roll over here and see if. Nope. Dang. This island must be chock full of these people. Now, if I really wanted to. Oh, 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 I see. I see. I see him. Oh, good. Okay. That was the one stopping me from waiting. Alright, let's do this a little later at night. That's good. That's perfect. Okay. Now we've got plenty of shadow cover. So, what I'm gonna do... 
Another bonus is all these dudes will probably have torches so I can pinpoint them. I'm gonna climb up here really quick for a quick bandage point. Let's see over here, do I see any of them? Mm, no, I don't. Okay. Let's jump off this. And there's probably going to be at least one of them up here around the hives. But I don't... There's a lot... There's not as many of these mercenaries as I remember there being. It used to be like eight or something of them. Okay. Alright, let's burn some hives. We need three. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go into my magic menu, take out flames, and we're going to go ahead and burn that one. Okay, that's hive number one. Hive number two. I've got to be really careful not to hit that other one. Hide number three. Cool. Oh, crap. I knew that was going to alert someone. <sighs> that was going to alert two people, actually. Eh. Actually, you know what I could just do just to get these people off my back? Because there's a lot of them. Just go ahead and activate Beast Form. You're in for a world of pain! <laughs> it's almost not even fair. Quick bite! Have fun, boys? Okay. I wonder if we should just go into the main building like this. I don't think it would actually hurt anything. It's not like one of the mission requirements was to be super stealthy. Uh... Whatever. I saved it. If I do it wrong, I'll just, like, come back and do it later or something. But I think we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure Branyulf doesn't care about these mercenaries. Let me check the quick quest text really quick. My first member, da da da. Okay. Clear out his safe. So we just have to clear out his safe. Got it. That means I think we need to not kill him at all. Eh, I could be wrong. Alright. I will try not to kill him, but these mercenaries are fair game, as far as I'm concerned. Can you calm down now, Rack, please? I know you had your fill of hearts, and you're happy. <sighs> Come on, puppy. There you go, good job. Alright. Let's go ahead into our apparel, and throw on all of our happy things again. Should go ahead and favorite these. Yep. Okay. And favorite these. Alright, I got it. We're good. Let me throw on my daggers for all this close quarter nonsense.